The application server demo has a number of useful features. When using tabbed objects, it is common to open a whole series of tabs. It may be desirable to hide the tabs that have been selected. Support from the menu here has a number of options, one of which is close all open tabs. This uses JavaScript to close the tabs that are currently open. It may also be desirable to reload the complete page to refresh the menu and all other items on the page. If we look at various control options, one of the options is language tags. Alpha Anywhere uses a special tag that will replace the text within the tag with other text based on the language selected. We start with US English showing all the column headers in common English and the footer is showing the navigation and records per page. If we click on UK English, all the headers are now in language tags. As you can see, that some of the header texts have changed. The address text is based on an expression, so it uses the current date. The footer text has been changed also because, based on the language because all of this text is within language tags. Click on Spanish, we reload the page with Spanish. Again, all the column headers have now changed. We've also changed all the text in the footer to Spanish. This particular grid also has an export to Excel option. Grids have a number of ways of looking up data for various fields. Here we have a tabular grid with edit by row. We also have within the phone field has a watermark. If we take a look at the lookups, we can see the last name field uses a grid component to find data. The company field uses an edit combo. State and city use dynamic drop downs. Country uses an auto suggest. And ship state uses a drop down built on a variable. It is common to build drop downs on a variable if the drop downs will be repeated many times on the grid. If we look at how this works, we can select on the last name field and we get a list of all the last names and we can select the proper customer. Go to the company field. The edit combo is similar to a drop down. With a different view, we can see more data. Also, we can fill in multiple fields when we select from this particular edit combo. The state is a simple drop down. The city is also a simple drop down. We go into country. This fills in as we type. So we type in A. This will come up with an auto suggest with all countries that begin in A. We click, click an R. It now finds all matches for the first two letters. And we can continue until we find the record we wish. And again, ship state is built on a variable. This is a special grid. It is built on what is called a uh, checkbox select column. As we select, select various records with the checkbox, we can then use that to filter another grid to show those selected records. There are a number of videos that show how this particular grid has been built. And we're using JavaScript functions based on arguments. So we can go in and select a number of records. We do the callback. It now shows another grid filtered on the records that have been checked. Another common feature used on grids is to animate and show, it, show and hide of various sections. The shipping address is in a container which has a show hide expression which is animated. So if we click to ship to the billing address, we don't need to see the shipping address, so it animates the show hide. The next grid shows some other features where we're re replacing buttons with images. Each of these images has various responses. For instance, here we can click to open a brochure, which is a PDF. It opens up the PDF of the brochure, or in this case, this text, in a PDF window. This will open up an image. If there is an image, it uses JavaScript to go find the picture, show the picture in a view here. We can also go to the detail. The detail has options to show the various detail. It also has a file upload option to upload a new file. It also has an image upload option to up upload a new image. And we can also show the brochure from this particular link.